but I'm going to start this one off with a bit of an exposition dump. If you prefer to skip it, you can head straight to the pattern because timestamps will be provided down in the description. At the start of the year, I set myself a goal to use up as much of my yarn stash as I possibly could before buying any new yarn. And over the last six months, I've made slow but steady progress on that front. But still, there is one particular part of my stash that remains, or it did until recently at least, relatively untouched for the sole reason that I don't really enjoy crocheting with it. The chunky yarns. My nephews and nieces love toys made from this stuff, so I usually take requests on their birthdays and at Christmas, but that has meant I have all these leftovers, which I've done nothing with really. On top of that, there have been times when I was planning to make something for someone and those plans ended up falling through and I have been left holding full skeins of the stuff. But over the past few weeks, I've really got stuck into using this yarn up and attempting to de-stash it has sort of resulted in a Cambrian explosion of yarn creatures. Let me show you some of them. So I have a basket. <laughs> Here's what we are going to be making today. Some little a budgie and a cockatiel. I've got sea turtles, baby sea turtles, a whale, octopus, some danger noodles, little rubber ducky, goldfish, seahorses, mushrooms or toadstools. They're not really critters but I'm gonna count them anyway and that's not all. There is more. Another, another kind of snake and then I have a bunny. I have a sleepy fat cat. It's supposed to go on his back like like that peas in a pod and then i have a snail a little cow flower which i don't really like how this turned out a dugong and then this was going to be a hippo but i ran out of gray yarn so i'll have to do the body in another color but i think that's all i've got so far there might be a few more in the other room but at least these give you a general idea of what i've been up to now I've got to put them all away. I peed on the floor. You know what? We'll swap these out for you two. Stay. Excellent. Initially, I debated whether or not to put these patterns up on my channel. Chunky yarn isn't really my wheelhouse and I don't want to give the impression that it is. I'm mainly going to be sticking to my eight ply yarn that I use most regularly. But I figure I'm branching out a little bit anyway. I'm making clothes, I'm doing more crochet challenges. Why not try a few patterns with chunky yarn as well? The worst thing that could happen is you guys tell me you don't like it and I won't do it again. The new intro and the pattern formula itself, which you'll see in a moment, is going to be specific to the chunky yarn patterns. It won't be replacing my regular pattern format. So today will be something of a trial run, which means that suggestions, feedback, constructive criticism or straight up criticism is very welcome. Also, if you have a favorite critter from the bunch that I showed you, let me know what that is because I would prefer to prioritize the patterns that you guys actually want. And I think I just about covered everything that I wanted to in this intro. If there is any additional information that I need to tell you guys of, I will put that down in the pinned comment. But for now, as you probably deduced from the title, thumbnail and what I said earlier, I think I mentioned it earlier, we will be making a little bird here today. You can make a budgie, you can make a cockatiel or any sort of colourful parrot variety that you like. So go and grab yourself some chunky yarn if you haven't and let's do this.